Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Helm of Bachelor Nation, after divorcing Michael Lalio, Daniel Maltby is being real and honest with her followers as she celebrates her birthday. I can't wait for some of my pals to arrive today. I know we're going to have a wonderful day and slash or night. It was difficult last night and this morning, she admitted in a message to her Instagram story on October 6. It's okay to cry and experience emotions as they arise. Just a gentle reminder that everyone experiences things in their own way and at their own pace, that it's okay to cry on your birthday, and that it's also okay to remember who you are and what you have to look forward to. Maltby, 38, said to her followers that allowing herself to cry made her feel more relaxed as she spent the weekend partying with close friends. On Friday, Mavli said, crying is a release and waves of emotions are momentary, even if they don't feel momentary if you're able to sit with and in them. All right, I'm done. I'm going to sleep a little longer on my day off. After her breakup with Alio, Malpi has posted a number of encouraging words on social media. She reassured followers in an Instagram post from September 17 that everything will be okay before their split made news. Halio declared that he and Malpi had broken up the following day. I guess I'll simply say it now. After weeks of rumors regarding the couple's relationship status, Alio said on the September 18 episode of Jason Tardek's Trading Secrets podcast, we're not together anymore. It wasn't what we had in mind. It hurts so much when a relationship ends because we both invested so much in it. Multi responded to Alio's declaration on September 22 by stating via her Instagram story that the breakup was not a mutual decision. I know so many people were rooting for Michael and I, and I appreciate your support so much, she continued. I don't even for a second regret the love I gave. The ex-couple connected via their shared experience of grieving prior relationships when they first met on Bachelor in Paradise Season 8, which aired in 2022. In 2011, Malby's fiancé passed away from a heroin overdose, and Alio's wife, with whom he had a son named James, passed away in 2019 following a struggle with breast cancer. She offered insight into what went wrong and claimed that he dumped her just one day after she underwent an egg retrieval operation days after news of Malpi and Alio's breakup first surfaced. On the Wilmot podcast last month, she said, he, he broke up with me and I was very, very blindsided by it. The day after Michael and I got home from freezing my eggs. I'm still obviously quite upset, bewildered, and emotional. Really, I still don't have any responses. I'm involved. For his side, Alio maintained on Instagram story that he had been extremely clear with Malfi about not having any additional children in the future. But on September 22, Alio said, I had to be honest about where I was at. I can't even bear the thought of having another child, the person said. It doesn't go with how I live. The same day, Alio wrote in a different post that he and Malpi had attempted couples therapy in an effort to save their marriage, but sadly it had failed. She requested that I wait before telling her about the breakup, and he added, I felt like I should be respectful of that because I was the one who broke it off with her. So I kind of waited for her to take the lead, and when she started removing Instagram posts, I kind of did the same. The Kansas City Chiefs and Minnesota Vikings NFL game didn't have Taylor Swift there, but Michelle Young was, and she was packing on the PDA with a new boyfriend. Young 30 grinned in a selfie she shared on Instagram stories on Sunday, October 9, as an unidentified man wearing a purple Vikings cap kissed her on the cheek. 
It has been more than a year since the Bachelorette alum's divorce from Nate Olakoya in June 2022, and now she appears to be hard launching a new romance. During the season 18 final of The Bachelorette, which aired in December 2021, Olakoya, 29, proposed to Young. Young revealed on the After the Final Rose special at the time that the ex couple became significantly closer after the program ended but they parted a few months later. In a tweet on June 20, 2022, Young said, To those who have supported Nate and I, including Bachelor Nation, I know I speak for the both of us when I say having a relationship in the public eye has not been easy. I'm finding it difficult to announce that Nate and I will be parting ways. But I stand with him in understanding the weight on both of our hearts as this relationship has been very real for us. Olakoya was referred to by the former ABC star as her best friend, even though she still had love for her ex. Jung said, I will always want to see you succeed. I will always be grateful for the experiences, encouragement, and personal development that Nate and this experience have given me. I will need time and space to process this heartbreak, because I'm also really hurt. Olikoya, for his part, made a similar declaration, stating that as they deal with the split, their hearts are heavy and emotions are high. Young and Olikoya each gave their perspectives on what went wrong between them in the months that followed. When Young appeared on the Almost Famous podcast in June 2022, he gave a hint that the breakup was not something that I foresaw, but Olukoya had more to say. I long for the Michelle with whom I first fell in love. In September 2022, he admitted as much on the Vile Files podcast. I'm not sure I miss the Michelle I broke up with. Our partnership was challenging. There are many ups and downs, disagreements and fights, as well as a general lack of chemistry and agreement. While Young admitted to Celeb Secrets that same month that it was interesting to hear his side of the story, by December 2022, she had healed completely. I really did the work early on, and it's a lot when so much is going on outside of you. Young recalled at the time, according to Life and Style, you must heal if you don't want to always be affected by your emotions, which depend on what is happening. From Paradise to Being a Parent On Saturday, Astrid Lodge gave birth to the couple's second child. The next day, the couple posted a family photo to Instagram with the remark, Happy Thanksgiving from our now family of four. Everyone, meet Nash Lachland Went, our son. 10.723 Astrid and baby boy are doing great and ready to come home today. The pair added, Watching our son, August, meet Nash, smiling the entire time and kissing his new baby brother, was our new favorite moment in life. We said, When August was born in November 2021, the Bachelor in Paradise, alumni who first met and fell in love during season 5 of the ABC program became parents. Went, 39, kindly thanked his then fiancé for helping him realize his dreams at the time when they struggled to conceive. The firefighter gushed on Instagram, writing, She is my absolute hero for everything she went through the last two days in the hospital, and the last two years doing everything it took to get this perfect munchkin. I never thought a love like this existed, the new father said in his conclusion. Went, 32 and Lodge. 33, were joined by their young child for their Florida wedding the following year. The former reality stars had been planning to get married since August 2019, but they decided to put it off because of the coronavirus outbreak. Lotch announced to her Instagram fans that she was expecting her second child four months after their October 2022 wedding. The expecting celebrity posted adorable birthday photos with Went. BB dated UI times too, at the time. Test results came back positive, so we're celebrating at Kevin Fuent's birthday a day early, she said. 
Wendt made a suggestion about the due date of their second kid in his own article when he said that the infant would arrive in the fall. Who would have believed that urine on a stick would be the nicest birthday present he had ever received, he said. Two weeks after Lott reported she had finished an embryo transfer as part of her IVF process, they posted on social media. She wrote in January, holding our breath and crossing our fingers. Distribu desartai sali. To share on Facebook, click the button, opens in new window. To share on Twitter, click here, opens in new window. Flipboard. To email a link to a friend, click the button, opens in new window. To copy a URL, click. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.